Okay, uh, let's dive into something pretty important for homeowners right now. Picking a new central air conditioner. Yeah, definitely timely. Because if you're looking to buy one this year, you've probably heard the old stuff, R410A. It's uh, it's on its way out. Right, being phased out. It's all about these newer, greener refrigerants now. Mm. Lower global warming potential, GWP. Basically, trap less heat if they leak. Exactly. And the sources we've looked at, they really focus on the two main ones replacing it. R32 and uh, R454B. Two big contenders. So our mission here for this deep dive is to kind of cut through the specs and the noise. We want to show you, based on this material, what the real practical differences are, especially for you buying an AC like right now in 2025. And what's really striking from the material isn't just, you know, the chemical makeup. It's the huge difference in how available they are, how supportive they are today. Mm -hmm. I mean, both are better for the planet than our 410A, sure. But the sources really hammer home that what looks good on paper well, it doesn't always mean a smooth ride getting your AC installed and keeping it running. That's the absolute key takeaway. Okay, so let's unpack R32 first. The sources. They're pretty clear. This isn't some, like, experimental fluid. No, definitely not. It's been used widely for years. Japan, Europe, they've had it for a while. And the crucial part for us now, it's widely stocked, readily available, right here in the U.S. And we're talking big industry players backing it, right. too, right? The sources mention specific brands. Yeah, like Goodman and Dakin, leaders in the field. Yeah. And the material suggests there are 32 systems, and the refrigerant itself, it's all in stock, shipping now, fully supported for this year and, you know, going forward. Okay, that sounds pretty solid. Mm -hmm. You sometimes hear this term, uh, mildly flammable, attached to R32. Yeah. How do the sources handle that? Yeah. That might understandably make some homeowners nervous. Great question. And yeah, it does sound a bit worrying at first glance, but the sources are uh, very reassuring here. They stress that while it gets that label on paper, okay. the reality inside a professionally installed home AC system, totally different. It's sealed up tight in a closed loop. Ah, right. So it's contained. Exactly. And the material emphasizes, look, this isn't just theory. R32 has been used safely. Millions of homes in Europe for over a decade now. Over a decade. Okay. Yeah. So when it's put in correctly by a pro, it's just not a safety issue for you at home. Plus, there are practical upsides mentioned, like R32 units apparently being easier to maintain, maybe cheaper to recharge if you ever need it. So for R32, the picture from the material is proven tech. Available now, widely supported. How does uh, the other one, R454B, stack up against that? Which brands went that way? So according to the sources, you've got companies like Ream and Carrier choosing R454B. But here's where that big contrast comes in. And it's, well, it's a major one if you're buying now. Uh -huh. The material points to some serious import issues for R454B this year. Like right now. Some U.S. distributors, the sources say, they just can't even get it. Wow, okay. Can't get the refrigerant itself. That seems to be the issue highlighted. And think about the direct consequence for you, the listener. Yeah, what happens if something goes wrong? Exactly. Let's say you install an R454B system, and maybe, I don't know, you get a faulty coil, something needs a refrigerant top-up. The sources suggest you could be waiting weeks just to get that r 454 Weeks without AC Yeah. in the summer? That's... Not ideal. Well, not ideal is putting it mildly. You're just stuck waiting. So when you look at the practical situation on the ground right now in 2025, as presented in these sources, mm. well, the takeaway seems pretty stark. Mm. Even if R454B has environmental points on paper. Right. The material basically asks, what good is that theoretical benefit if you struggle to get the unit installed? Or worse, can't get it fixed promptly because the refrigerant isn't available. It really sounds like the material frames it this way. If you care about your time, your comfort, avoiding those kinds of major headaches this year, then R32, based purely on its current availability and support system. It's positioned as the more practical, reliable choice right now. So the core advice from this material for anyone replacing their AC in 2025 is basically don't gamble. Really consider the current supply chain. Avoid systems where the sources indicate there might be question marks over getting the unit or crucially, getting their refrigerant for service. And just to recap that point on R32 from the sources, it's available now, it's efficient, it's safe when installed correctly, reliable history, mm -hmm. and backed by major brands like Goodman and Dakin that are shipping product. Precisely. So maybe a final thought to leave you with, something to mull over based on this deep dive. Yeah. How much these, you know, real world, sometimes messy logistics, global supply chains 
import stuff, mm -hmm. how much that can actually impact your experience with technology, even when that tech is designed with good intentions, like helping the environment, especially for something as vital as your home's AC.